Allison for Leading Edge Dog Show Academy and I'm here today with another great tip from Leading Edge. So if you're here for one of the first times on our YouTube channel or whether you've been here many times before, I hope you really like our new branding and our new mascot, Tom the English Cocker. Um, we are so proud to just have Tom there as our mascot. He meant a lot to us in the day and we are just working every day to make things a little bit cheerier, a little bit nicer and bring you more educational content both here on YouTube and at Leading Edge Dog Show Academy as well. So today what we're going to talk about is training our dogs, especially our poodles, on how to lay down on the table. I've had quite a few questions about this lately and I haven't really had those before and so I just thought I would do a little YouTube on it and let you know kind of the, the things that I go through, the things that I do. I will also be doing another video similar to this one on dogs that are groomed with a grooming noose and typical problems that people have with that. So to start off, I don't have a puppy to show you how to do it on a puppy. And during COVID, I couldn't really borrow a puppy with social distancing and everything. So we are going to start with a more experienced dog, but at least I can show you the steps. So I really thought about this and thought about the different things that I do. So first of all, I am usually grooming my dogs on a grooming table that has a non-slip surface like this. And the non-slip surface is great. It's what we need when we're trimming our dogs, when they're standing up, but it's rough and it's not super comfortable and hard as a rock, right? So the first thing is think about yourself. How often do you lay on a rough surface? So think of a really rough sidewalk and find it comfortable. Probably not that often. Myself, I do a lot of yoga and even laying straight on my floor is less comfortable than laying on a thin yoga mat. And so I apply this to my poodles as well. Yes, when I'm trimming them, I'm grooming them, they're standing up, they are either standing on the rough surface or on a yoga mat because I do like yoga mats for grooming. They have a lot of non-slip mats that you can buy online as well, so check that out. But for my puppies or for all of my dogs, when I'm laying them down to line brush them, to clipper them, to dry them, these are some of the things that I do. So the first thing that I do is I'm gonna cover the table just simply with a thick bath towel, right? And so that's layer number one. And then my next layer might be a dog bed like this. So not a big, huge, fluffy one that um, is, you know, like, going to really impede what I'm doing, but a thinner dog bed, so just give them more comfort. And you can tell that she knows what this means. This means it's time to lay down on the table. And that's another thing, is that eventually my poodles learn that when this mat goes down on the table, it's time for them to lay down on the table. And when there isn't a mat, it is another clue to them that it is time for them to stand up. So I have my grooming table, I have a towel, and I have a mat. And I do this with my puppies. So my puppies would just be like on the table and I probably have like one of their little treats that they could have. And you know, I'm just telling them how good it is. And my first grooming session is probably three minutes or less. I used to say five minutes, but five minutes is actually quite a long time. So the next thing that I do, so now I have my poodle puppy on the table and I have my mat down. So now I'm gonna lay them down. Right? but I'm not slamming them to the table. I'm laying them quite gently. I'm making sure that their head is on the table and then I'm going to kind of just lie on them a little bit, right? And I'm stroking her, I'm telling her, what a good girl you are, Ellie Mae. And I'm just telling them that they're good, but I'm using my body weight to kind of calm them. And I'm being really calm. I'm not saying you have to stay there. I'm not being anxious. It's just like, this is a fun game, isn't it? Like we're just gonna lay here and maybe that's all you're gonna do for your first session. Like that might completely be it. But if your dog's being really good, instead of brushing them, you could just be rubbing them with your hand because puppies are gonna be trying to get up. They're not, you just want this to be fun. And maybe the first time you brush them, you might wanna use a brush like one with wooden pins. So it's just super gentle. And you're just gonna, you're not worried about the grooming right now. You're worried about the training. You want this to be such a good experience. And then the same thing when it's time to, so mine always have a, a signal like stay or good girl or something that means that they're laying down and you're just like telling they're good and massaging them and make sure it feels good. But when it's time to get up, 
also give them a lot of security when they're getting up. Good girl. Up, 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 up. Good girl. And just tell them how good they are and give them all the reward that they need while they're up on the table. You don't want to give them the reward once they've got down off the table. You want the reward to be up here. What a good girl. What a good girl. And I might even give them, if everything's gone well, I'm always keeping my hands on them. I'm not letting them be scared. I might give them a little lesson about their head on a head pillow. So you can use a towel that's rolled up. You can use a bolster from your bed. You can use a little pillow that you bought especially for the thing. This is designed for poodles um, because it has a place to put their little chin and it has different heights. So their head would be higher here. And I just like to put their head there and like, she, like, she hasn't done this for a long time because she does, oh, look, and now she's gonna do it. But as soon as they do it again, you could get out your little treat, give them a little treat. Even if a puppy just did this and had their face like near the pillow, like going over it, I would be happy with that. And really what I'm trying to, now she just wants the treat. Um, really what I'm trying to get at is that there isn't a magic pill. Like if there was a magic pill or a spray that I could just send to you, and your poodle would automatically just lay on the table perfectly, that would be fabulous. And I would also be a millionaire, but there isn't. It's just simple steps that we do over and over again, but it's really important to use your body weight and hug them and make this a really short session. Like your session, your first session with your dog on the table is gonna be much shorter than this YouTube video, trust me. So I hope that that helped us the first little tiny baby step to how to get your poodle to just lay properly on the table. So just remember you want like a towel, a nice thin dog bed, you want to use your body weight, you want them to be really secure, and maybe the first few sessions aren't even going to involve any grooming. Just them laying and understanding that laying down on the table is a good thing, a fun thing, and nothing bad happens to them. So that's why a lot of times there is no grooming for my first few sessions with a puppy on the table. So I hope that you enjoyed our YouTube video today. It's just a little teaser of how to train your poodle and if you don't know, at leadingedgedogshowacademy.com, we have a full online school of lots and lots of things you need to know about showing and handling your dog. So we have the ultimate guide to handling our dog, which just is for beginners, junior handling. There's some theory classes, advanced handling. We also have Poodle University, which is award-winning and just has all the courses on how to top knot your poodle. This is not a Poodle University approved top knot, by the way. This is done by my sister. Um, we have courses on puppy trim, on the continental trim, on how to hairspray our poodles to have those big top knots, how to maintain their top knots and condition their coat. We have courses on Newfies, Shelties, Kerry Blue Terriers. We have lots of different breeds out there. And as well, we have courses on Cavaletti training, pull training for your dog, which is an amazing thing for conditioning and training, getting their foot timing. So I would really, really like it if you went to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com and just checked out some of our courses. As well, we have the Winner Circle, which is a subscription to everything we have. Um, as we add new courses, you get those. And with Winner Circles, we have exclusive bonus content, as well as our webinars are completely free for Winner's School members. So uh, I hope that that helps. I hope that you really enjoyed today's tip. Um, I hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss out. And if you have anything that you would like to see here on this YouTube channel, please leave us a comment and let us know what it is. Thank you so much for joining us today at Leading Edge Dog Show Academy.